we will now discuss whole language instruction versus phonics instruction we have discussed the controversy and now we will see how different types of instructions are given to children whether it's whole word instruction or it's the phonics or decoding instruction in elementary education there are two main approaches to teaching young students how to read whole language and phonics instruction now whole language is the one where the emphasis is on looking at a word as a whole unit without breaking it down into letters or syllables now decoding is basically a process where of translating print into speech by making or by matching its letter or combination of letters to their sounds and also look at the pattern of syllables and the words that are made so basically it breaks down words or when we talk about phonemes we see that phonemes are the smallest units of sounds that a word is bro broken into letters and looking at the letters which are connected to the sound those letters make so providing learner with the understanding of phonemes and breaking down a word into its phoneme to enable learner to match the letter to its sound and then whole word or whole language approach relies on looking at the word as a unit as a whole unit in contributing in the understanding of the meaning those words or combination of words actually convey so let's discuss some of the characteristics of these two types of instructions now phonics instruction is the chronological precise instruction of letter sound correspondence it helps students learn to read by recognizing that each letter creates a sound and when letters are strung together they make a word the five different ways of teaching phonics instructions are analytic phonics embedded phonics phonics through spellings and synthetic phonics basically analogy phonics helps students connect unknown words to familiar words analytic phonics helps students by analyzing letter sound relationship embedded phonics embeds phonics skills into reading text phonics through spelling involves selecting letters for phonemes and synthetic phonics is converting letters to sound and blending them to make the word sound now critics argue that phonics instruction lacks connection to the purpose the purpose of learning the letter sounds students who received phonics instructions from kindergarten through 6th grade are able to decode spell words and to read text orally but their comprehension of text was not significantly improved that is the major criticism that is there in a whole language based approach teachers emphasize the meaning of text versus deconstructing the parts of words like phonic does it combines pronunciation vocabulary and grammar into an organic flowing learning experience through the use of content rich literature and a print rich environment a lot of research suggests that the whole language classroom is able to progress much faster then phonics classroom this is because everything is interrelated with the learning of skills and strategies taking place with an authentic events etc to conclude although this is highly debated subject most educators agree on middle ground that both phonics and whole language reading programs are beneficial when using both programs a young student has more holistic approach to reading literacy